In this tutorial, we're going to look at Google Drive and we're going to assume that you've never used Google Drive before. So I've signed into Google um, over here and you can see my login over here, see that I've logged in. And I now need to find Google Drive. And the easiest place to come and find Google Drive from Google is to click on the waffle up here. If you click on this and you can see all, whole, all the tools that are available to you, indeed there's more. But we want to click on Drive, so that's the first thing I'm going to do, click on Google Drive. And Google Drive is just a online drive. It's a space where you can store content that you create using Google Docs or Google Sheets or Google um, Slides or any of the other services that Google offer to you to use and share in Google Drive. So think of it as a folder that you have had in the past on a server, but this time now it's um, in the cloud and you can access this from any computer or any mobile device at any time. So let's have a quick look at the overview here of Google Drive. And predominantly everything is stored in this big gray space here. Obviously there's nothing in this particular Google Drive that I'm looking at at the moment. And down the side here, we've got um, these options down here, my drive, and we'll, there's nothing in there at the moment, so um, we'll show you how to do that in a moment. We can link computers, share with me, we can find our recent documents, we can go to our Google Photos, etc, 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 and there's the, the trash down here. But we need to set this up. So the first thing we need to do is come across over to settings over here and do some basic settings. So we click into settings here. And you've got three tabs, general, notifications, and manage apps. Well, let's look at manage apps. In the first um, instance, these are the, these are the apps that by default are, will be in your Google um, Drive, um, and, and you can access them from here. And there's different workflows, and we can look at those a bit later. And then notifications, I tend to generally ignore this, but what we want to look at here is general. So we can see here we've got 15 gigs of storage. You might have more depending on the service that you've um, um, subscribed to. Now the most important one to look at here really is convert uploads. Convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. So if you've got any documents that you want to upload, transfer from your, um, particularly if you are in a Microsoft environment and you want to upload your Word documents into to Google Drive, you can upload them and as they upload, Google will convert them for you so you can use them in Google Drive straight away. You can set the look here, comfy, cozy and compact, that's entirely up to you. Default is comfortable and you can change it at any time. Um, make relevant files handy when you need them, quick access, um, I, you know, I don't particularly use um, quick uh, quick access, but you can use that. I think it takes up too much space, but here it is. You can tick it off if you want to, and make a Google Folders folder folder if you want to. And then I'm just going to click done. So that's our settings done. And now we're going to start organising our space. And everything's driven by this blue button over here. And earlier in the settings, I showed you that there's. Um, the default apps that you can look at and we click on more here um, and there's a whole bunch of other things that we can look down here and we can indeed we can connect more apps and that's for another tutorial but this is where you find your google docs your google sheets and your google slides and i'll show you a bit later on where you can find those those three objects um, somewhere else as well but the first thing we want to look at is folder so i'm going to create a folder and i just click on create new and i'm going to give it a name so let's just call it uh, my stuff Create. Um, that's a bit informal, so you think, mm, okay, maybe I need to um, change, rename that. So I can just right click on this and I can rename that. And I'm going to call this personal files. Click OK. And then I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to create go over here and I'm going to call it uh, work files. And then um, we can see over here that we've got these little tags going on over here, these tiles. And if you um, you can see these these tiles will begin to take up quite a bit of space. So over here by the information and the gear button is this layout button or the list view. We can click from list view, which will look like this, to um, a grid view. And that's entirely up to you about how you use that. I like to use the grid view when I've got pictures because it's much easier to see um, the pictures of using grid view and when I've got a lot of files I like to use the um, list view and you can change that um, for each um, folder as you as you go through that 
Also, what you can see here is we can uh, right click on here and we can add stars. So we can make that, that will always be at the top of the list. But I like to look at this, change the color. And so I like to color code my files. So I can give that a color. And that just means it makes it easier for me to uh, have a look at which version or which particular folder I'm working with. And can you see over here on the left hand side now, my drive now has been populated with these two folders. And that becomes really important in a moment. Also, if we click on personal files here, I'm just going to click on this and open up personal files. We can begin to see across the top here how um, Google is, we can navigate. So we've gone from my driver and personal files. I'm going to add a new folder now. Just, just call this uh, 2017, click create. And then I'm going to create a new folder and call it 2018, click create. And so now we've got two folders inside my personal files. Well, let's come back to here. So in personal files, if I click on this, open this up, we can see I'm now going from my drive inside personal files and inside personal files, I have two folders. If I click on 2018, there'll be nothing in there. But can you see now how the navigation tells me exactly where I am? I've drill, drilling down through. So you never lose track of actually where you are. And down the side here, you can see um, this highlighted box tells me where I am as well. So now I can create a new document, Google Docs, but we can also click File Upload. And we can start organizing our existing content and uploading it to Google Drive. And that's when using the settings here and converting to Google Drive documents, uh, Google Docs as you upload, um, becomes really important. I'm now going to show you how to upload files from your computer to Google Drive. Now I want to show you two, two, two things. I've gone back to settings like I showed you earlier on and this time I've unticked the convert just so you can see how Google handles files if you don't tick this. So I'm now going to upload a new file, click upload here, and I'm going to drive, go, go to my desktop and I've got two documents here, one called test. I'm going to open up test and this is just going to upload it. And if you notice down the bottom here, can you see it's um, it's uploaded? That's a fine, it's all good. But we've got this blue W here, and that means that the document is still in a Word format and it can't be opened. There's one more step that we need to go through. I'm gonna go back to settings here, and I'm gonna click back on here, and I'm gonna convert uploads as they upload and click done. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Click new and I'm going to click file upload and I'm going to click on test two and click open and the same process again it's opening it up for you but this time look at the difference it's converted it as it uploaded into a Google Doc now this will open click on this there we go there's my document I'm just going to come back to my Google Drive this one, if I click on it, open it up, it will open it up as a PDF in effect. I can't edit it. And then I have to click on here, open with Google Docs. And so open with Google Docs. And so I can still be read, which is fine. And you'll see the same document it says test. But what if you notice in your Google Drive now, come back to here. We've now got test in the Word doc format in the word format and we've got the test document so we end up with double the amount of files which can lead to confusion so my recommendation is that you stick with the settings on here and convert uploads automatically in the next video we're going to look in more detail at how to organize and create content